The raindrop technique is a young living signature. Our members around the world study this technique, developed by Young Living founder D. Gary Young for its unique way of harmonizing, rejuvenating, relaxing, and aligning the body and mind. Whether you're experienced in raindrop or you're just beginning to explore, join us for this simple step-by-step -step guide and discover for yourself this unique approach to mind-body wellness that emphasizes essential oils and accessing energy. Step one, preparation. Make the setting for the raindrop as relaxing as possible. Make sure the room is at a comfortable temperature, remove noise or distractions, set up a massage table, and cover it with a twin size sheet. Put on an additional sheet to provide the recipient coverage and warmth. Set up the essential oils from the Raindrop Technique Collection within easy reach. You'll need these oils in order. Valor 2, oregano, thyme, basil, cypress, wintergreen, marjoram, aroma seas, peppermint. Though it is not necessary for a successful raindrop or found in the kit, white angelica is also a helpful part of the technique. Be sure to have it nearby as well. Having all supplies immediately at hand will allow you to stay in continuous contact with the recipient, creating a stronger sense of security and comfort. Please keep in mind the following as you prepare to perform the raindrop technique. Ask the recipient if he or she would first like to use the restroom. Keep your fingernails clean, well trimmed, and free from polish. Both facilitator and recipient should remove jewelry. Keep a bottle of V6 vegetable oil complex nearby. You may need it to dilute essential oils if they begin to irritate the skin. If for any reason essential oils come in contact with the eyes, use V6 oil to flush, not water. Offer the recipient plenty of water at the end to help flush toxins. The amount of essential oils may need to be increased or decreased depending on the age, size, and sensitivity of the recipient. For example, when performing the raindrop technique on children, you should use less oil and dilute stronger oils with V6 vegetable oil complex before application to avoid irritation. You may also want to try a patch test for certain essential oils on the recipient prior to beginning the raindrop. Everyone will experience the raindrop technique differently. Recipients may experience fatigue, increased energy, emotional release, or other short-term effects. For each experience, always provide a safe and supportive space. Ensure that the recipient stays modest at all times. This helps maintain trust, respect, and feelings of security. While there is no specific criteria on who may or may not receive the raindrop, some people may choose to avoid the raindrop technique. If they are pregnant or lactating, have a chronic disease, have had a reaction to any of the oils used in the technique, or have had a recent surgery or injury. To best support the goals of the raindrop technique, also recommend that the recipient follow with a healthy diet and complementary young living supplements, such as sulforzyme, Digest and Cleanse, Multigreens, Life 5, Juvatone, Juva Power, Essential Zymes 4, Detoxine, and Alkaline. Offer the recipient a drape, gown, or bathrobe as you give him or her privacy to disrobe to the waist and remove shoes and socks. Before re-entering the room, ask to make sure he or she is lying face up on the table and is covered by the drape. Ask the recipient to rest his or her arms alongside the body with palms touching the thighs just below the hips. Apply white angelica to your shoulders, back of neck, and just below the center of your collarbone. Enter the room with a positive mindset. Your mindset is important and can help set the tone for both you and the recipient. Step two, balancing body energy. Hold the recipient's ankles, then gently pull, stretch, and shake legs to release tension. 
Apply three to six drops of Valor II in the palm of your right hand and rub on the bottom of the recipient's right foot. Then apply three to six drops of Valor II to your left hand and rub on the bottom of the recipient's left foot. Place the palm of your right hand on the sole of the recipient's right foot and place the palm of your left hand on the sole of the left foot. Hold this position for three to five minutes or until you feel a connection of energy. Step three, roll and release. To use the roll and release technique, start by placing two to three drops of oregano essential oil onto your left palm and circle the fingertips of your right hand around the left palm three times clockwise. Be sure to complete this pattern before each repetition of the roll and release technique. To position the hand in the correct place, draw a line straight down from the ankle bone, ending at the front of the heel with the index finger. Cup the heel with the left hand for additional support. Position the right hand on the recipient's right foot by gripping the foot so that the fingertips rest on the spinal reflex points at the heel while the palm rests on the top of the foot. Roll the fingertips of the right hand forward so the nail flattens against the bottom of the recipient's foot. Roll the fingertips back to the original position with the pads of the fingertips on the bottom of the foot. Go from the pad to the fingertip to the nail and back to the pad. Pressure shouldn't be too light or too deep, but it should be a nice, secure, and firm pressure throughout. Repeat the roll and release technique along the entire length of the foot's spinal reflex points and off of the big toe, moving up about a fourth of an inch each time. End with several roll and release movements with the index finger on the center pad of the big toe. Repeat the entire succession two additional times. The wrist movement should be similar to the motion of turning a doorknob. Change sides and repeat three times on the left foot using the opposite hand positioning. Place two to three drops onto your right palm and then circle the fingertips of your left hand around your right palm three times clockwise. Place the left hand on the recipient's left foot and grip the foot so that the fingertips rest on the reflex points at the heel while the palm rests on the top of the foot. Cup the heel with the right hand for additional support. Roll the fingertips of the left hand forward so the nail flattens against the bottom of the recipient's foot. Do the roll and release technique up the foot. Repeat two additional times on the left foot.
Repeat the roll and release technique three times each on each foot with thyme, basil, cypress, wintergreen, marjoram, and peppermint essential oils in that order.
Step four, spinal application. Once you have completed the roll and release technique, ask the recipient to turn over face down with his or her back exposed. Keep the recipient covered from the hips down with a clean sheet. Tuck the sheet into the waistband of the recipient's pants to protect clothing. Ensure that the entire back from the top of the neck to the sacrum is exposed and that the recipient's arms lie comfortably alongside his or her body. Oregano. Hold the bottle of oregano six inches above the recipient and apply two to four drops of oil to the spine. Horizontally divide the back into three equal sections. Then complete the feathering and fanning sequences. To begin the feathering sequence, use your fingernails and fingertips to very gently brush up the first of the three sections of the length of the spine, alternating hands as you move and covering the section three times. Move to the second section and repeat three times, and then the third section. Then divide the back into two equal sections and repeat feathering strokes in each section. Finally, alternate hands to perform full length feathering strokes along the entire length of the spine. Next, fan each horizontal section of the back three times by gently brushing the fingernails from the spine up and off the sides of the back. Conclude the fanning sequence by gently brushing the fingernails up from the base of the back along the entire length of the spine and up and off the shoulders. Complete the spinal application of essential oils in order with the variations we will demonstrate. Time. Hold the bottle six inches above the back and apply two to four drops on the spine then complete the feathering and fanning sequences. Both thyme and oregano essential oils are highly concentrated and may cause heat and even irritation to sensitive skin. If this occurs, add several drops of V6 vegetable oil complex to dilute and then continue as before. Basil. Hold the bottle six inches above the back and apply three to four drops to the sides of the spine. Then complete the feathering and fanning sequences. Finish the basal step by using the spinal tissue pull technique. Place hands side by side along the edge of the spine at the sacrum with the fingers curved and the heels of the hands resting on the back. 
Complete three small clockwise motions using the pads of the fingertips to pull the muscle tissue toward you and away from the spine, and then return to the original position. Move up the spine to the neck using this motion. After finishing one side of the spine, move to the other side of the recipient and repeat the procedure. Repeat the spinal tissue pull two additional times on each side, alternating from side to side. Never apply direct pressure to the vertebrae. Cypress. Hold the bottle six inches above the back and apply four to six drops on both sides of the spine. Complete the feathering and fanning sequences and then perform the finger straddle technique. Stand near the recipient's shoulders, facing his or her feet. With the index and middle fingers of the left hand, straddle the spine at the sacrum. Place the bottom edge of the right hand with the pinky side down just below the middle joints of the two straddling fingers. Apply moderate downward pressure to the straddling fingers and saw back and forth with the top hand while pulling the straddling fingers to the hairline. Once at the atlas or base of the skull, use the straddled finger to gently pull toward the head three times. 
Repeat this process twice more. Winter green. Hold the bottle six inches above the back and apply six to 10 drops along both sides of the spine. Complete the feathering and fanning sequences and then use the thumb roll technique. To perform the thumb roll technique, stand near the recipient's shoulder. Place both thumbs one inch apart on either side of the spine at the sacrum. The pads of the thumbs should be down with one slightly higher than the other. Roll the thumbs so the nail flattens against the bottom of the recipient's back. Roll the thumbs back to the original position with the pads of the thumb on the recipient's back. Continue to roll the thumbs lightly, working up the spine in small increments from the sacrum to the atlas or base of the skull. Repeat this technique two more times.
marjoram. Hold the bottle six inches above the back and apply three to four drops on each side of the back and three to four drops on the spine. immediately feather to distribute the oil, and then complete the feathering and fanning sequences. Follow with the circle hand massage technique. To perform the circle hand massage technique, place the palms of the hands near the sacrum on the right side of the back. Circle the hands in a firm clockwise motion three times, then move two hand widths up and repeat all the way up to the base of the neck. Move to the left side of the back and repeat. Repeat the sequence two additional times, alternating side to side. Aroma Seas. Hold the bottle six inches above the back and apply three to four drops on each side of the back and three to four drops on the spine. Immediately feather to distribute the oil and then complete the feathering and fanning sequences.
Then follow with the palm slide technique. To perform the palm slide, place both palms on the recipient's back on each side of the spine. One hand should be higher than the other. Slide palms with moderate downward pressure in opposite directions, working up the length of the spine. Repeat this process two more times. Peppermint. Hold the bottle six inches above the back and apply three to five drops on the spine. Complete the feathering and fanning sequences. Valor 2. Hold the bottle above the back and apply three to four drops on each side of the back and three to four drops on the spine. Immediately feather to distribute the oil. and then complete the feathering and fanning sequences. Step five, complete the raindrop technique. Ask the recipient if he or she is comfortable. If the recipient is experiencing skin discomfort, use V6 vegetable oil complex to complete the raindrop. If the recipient is comfortable, use OrthoEase. Depending on the recipient's response, dispense two pumps of either V6 or OrthoEase into the palm of your hand and give the recipient a gentle massage over the shoulders and back.
ask the recipient to lie face up. Sit so your shoulders are parallel to the recipient's shoulders. Place both hands under the back of the head with the pads of the fingers resting at the base of the skull, which is also known as the occipital ridge. The recipient's head should remain on the table. Gently pull the head towards you in a soft rocking motion so the recipient's entire body moves towards you. Sustain this motion for one minute, then rest for one minute. Repeat this process two more times. Next, apply White Angelica to the recipient's shoulders. And then place both hands above the recipient's nose to allow him or her to smell the oil. Finally, allow him or her to relax for five to 10 minutes. After several minutes of relaxation, instruct the recipient to drink plenty of water. As the facilitator, be sure to drink plenty of water as well. The raindrop technique is a unique way to help establish mind-body harmony and wellness. To continue your raindrop journey, visit youngliving.com to find immersive trainings in your area. Because a license is required to perform massage in many states, please check with your state guidelines before performing the raindrop technique on individuals outside your family.